So let's say you want to sell your house and you're thinking to yourself, I'm going to wait till spring. It makes more sense. More buyers in the spring. The flowers are blooming in the spring. Everything's great in the spring. We're just going to do it springtime. I've got four reasons why that may actually not be the best idea. It may make more sense to sell this fall. This is Steve Malone Realty Group EXP. Yep, yeah, I said it. it may make more sense, even though the market has slowed down, even though the interest rates are a little crazy, even though there are more buyers that come out in the springtime. For all those reasons. So what am I talking about? Four reasons why? And they're actual good reasons why. You should probably think about I'm not saying that it doesn't make sense. But if I was thinking about selling my house, getting top dollar, making it the least amount of headache possible, I'd at least take a swing at this fall. Because I think this fall provi provides you with a pretty good opportunity. So here you go. Top four reasons why selling this fall makes a lot of sense. Number one, there's a lot more houses on the market right now. And there's going to be even more come next spring. The amount of houses on the market right now, coming out of August into September, just a hair over 12,000. I think it was 12,115 houses on the market in the metro Atlanta area. Okay, what does that mean? When you compare that to where we were at the be beginning of the year, like February, March, that's when we had, you know, we bottomed out with the least amount of uh, inventory that we've seen on record. Uh, we're about 85% above that number. So we've about doubled the number of houses that we have on the market. And with, with you know the way things are looking right now, it's going to be even higher than that once we get into spring. So you're talking about having, you know, adding potentially another 5,000, 6,000, maybe even 10,000 homes between now and springtime. There's going to be a little bit more competition for you to deal with if you're going to wait that long, okay? So it, it, it's definitely going to be a different market. It's definitely going to be, it's not going to be like it was, you know, this past spring when you come up to this upcoming spring. So we're in the middle of it right now. So what does that mean? It means right now we still have low inventory. When you have low inventory and you're selling and your house looks great and is priced right, your house stands out. Okay. So yes, there's more homes on the market now, but if we wait till spring of 2023, there's going to be even more homes on the market. So for reason number one, there's a lot less inventory now, a lot less competition now to sell your house than there will be in spring. All right. Reason number two, interest rates. People have digested the interest rates. Nobody likes the fact that the interest rates are over 6%. That's where they are as of this recording, September 19th, 2022. Interest rates are above 6%. Nobody likes that. That being said, this is not like it was back in June. Back in June, interest rates got over 6% and everybody flipped the you know what out. Okay. And the buyers went away. The summertime got real quiet. The rates have been hovering and they went down to the fives and they're back in the sixes now. Okay. So what does that mean? What it means is number one, the buyers are used to this now. The shock is over. It doesn't make it easy. No, but more buyers are willing to go out there and deal with it because they need to get a house. Now, is it hard for somebody who's selling their house and they have a 3% loan to go and buy a house at a 6% loan? Absolutely, and that's one of the issues that we're dealing with right now, okay? But we say all that to say the interest rates are not the shock anymore, number one. Number two, everybody's thinking, well, they're gonna go back down once we get towards springtime, so maybe we we'll wait till springtime. Everything that everybody's thinking about the real the interest rates, to be quite honest with you, has been off all year. We thought they'd go up maybe into the mid to upper fours. They're in the mid sixes. Uh, we thought they were going to come back down into the fives. They did briefly. Now they're back up. The interest rates are all over the board. I'll be 100% honest with you. I like looking at the crystal ball. I like throwing out an idea of what's going to happen. Do you know what's going to happen with interest rates by the time we get to spring? Neither do I. Everybody says the interest rates are going to come down probably back into the fives, maybe close to low fives, upper four, something like that. Okay, if that's the case, buyers can still get a really good deal right now, and then they can refi in the spring when they go down, if that's what they want to do. But at the end of the day, a lot of the buyers are, are they're kind of tired of the ups and downs and ups and downs. The interest rates are the interest rates. Now, the interest rates go to 8% for some crazy reason, then that's a completely different conversation. But if they're going to hover in the fives and sixes, I think the buyers are over it. Okay, so the whole interest rate argument, yes, 
So for some people, the interest rates are going to keep them from buying a house, 100%. But there are some people who completely walked away because they were freaked out and ticked off that their interest rates hit 6%. Those people have dealt with it for the last two to three months, and they realize, you know what? Interest rates are they're 5 to 6% now. That's where we are. That's life. We still need a house. Let's get back out there because we don't know what's going to happen in the springtime. So they're jumping on the rates right now. Okay, again, that's not a giant number of people, but there's still enough buyers coming back in right now. We're seeing the 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 buyer traffic picking up a little bit this fall. So they're dealing with it, they're digesting the rates. Okay. They're not ideal, but they're digesting them. So interest rates, right? So that's the number two thing. The interest rates, they're not ideal, but the shock is over. Buyers are getting used to it. Reason number three, buyers are more motivated in the fall, okay? In the springtime. Yes, there's a lot more buyers. You know why there's a lot more buyers? Because buyers are thinking, hey, maybe we'll go buy a house this spring. We'll go kick the tires, go out on open houses. The you know the birds are chirping, the flowers are blooming. There's lots of pollen in the air. Beautiful outside. Let's go take a look at some houses. Maybe we'll do that during the, the school uh, break and stuff like that. But there, we typically see you know, buyers are not 100% committed to the plan. Buyers in the fall, especially once you get closer to Christmas time, buyers are motivated. They are doing something, okay? There's a lot of stuff going on in the fall. There's there's festivals, there's parades, there's, you know, football games. There's all kinds of stuff going on in the fall. If people are looking for houses. They're not looking to kick tires. They're looking to get a house, okay? So, yes, if you're selling, you're going to get less traffic in the fall than you will the spring. But when you measure how committed are those buyers to actually buying a house, much higher in the fall than in the spring. Buyers in the fall are much more committed to the process. Buyers in the fall are much more motivated. They want a house. Okay, so yes, you're going to have more people in your house or you can have more motivated people in your house. Okay, it's got a fewer number of people, but they are going to be more motivated on average. What would you rather have? I'd rather have the motivated people. I want offers. Okay, I don't want people looking at my stuff. I want offers on my house. Right? Right. So, number three, the buyers are much more motivated in the fall than they are in the spring. All right, reason number four why it might be a better idea to sell in the fall than the spring there's going to be less transactions in the fall. Who cares? Right? No, not really. If you're buying a house, you go under contract, that's the easy part, okay? Your agent wrote a contract, the other agent accepted the contract. That's easy, okay? Now we've got to get you to closing, okay? You got to find inspectors. You got to find appraisers. Your lender's got to get everything, you know, from the beginning to the end with the process. We've got to find a closing attorney who's going to pull title, who's going to do all the behind the scenes work. You need two agents that are not overwhelmed by the stuff that's going on in the market and then being busy with other buyers and sellers, whatever. You need everybody to be as focused as possible on getting this transaction done. With less transactions being done in the fall versus the spring, you have everybody's attention in the fall versus the spring. You know, typically we see in the spring, agents are carrying much more as far as the volume of buyers and sellers at the same time. Uh, you know, lawyers are trying to jam pack all these closings in, things like that. It's a little less crazy in the fall. So what does that mean? That's good news for you. It means if you go under contract, you probably have a higher percentage likelihood of it actually making it all the way through escrow and going to closing. Because crap happens. There you go. That's the nicest way I'll say it on YouTube. Crap happens, okay? It's better to have people who are not overwhelmed, people who are you know 100% committed to getting things done and can get their workload done. Okay, that's what you get in the fall. You get lenders who are working, but they're not like overly taxed. Lawyers who are working, not overly taxed. Appraisers, inspectors, agents, everybody across the board, they're going to do a better job for you in the fall than they're going to do in the spring because there's less transactions. So there you go. Number four, you're going to have everybody's attention. You're going to have you know much more likelihood of it going to closing if you get it under contract in the fall. All right, so those are my top four reasons why I think selling this fall may make more sense than waiting till spring. Obviously, in my opinion, do I think home prices are going to go up? Yes. Are they going to go up crazy? No. This is not like it's been the last couple of years where home prices are going up 20% every year. 
from this point to one year from now, September to September, more than likely what you're going to see is it going to go up 4 to 5%. Of, of that 4 to 5%, it's not going to be a straight line. Okay, Most of that's going to happen in the spring, in my opinion. It's going to be very flat the next couple of months just because of how crazy things have been. Okay, So I say all that to say the home prices, while they're going to go up, it's not going to be appreciable. So it's not like you're going to wait. Things are going to go up 10 to 15% and then you're going to sell in the spring. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, It's not that market anymore. All right, so that's number one. Number two, we say it all the time. Getting under contract is the easy part. It's the getting to closing. Okay, so when you have everybody's undivided attention, we talked about that in number four. When you have buyers who are very motivated, that tends to hold everything together. We talked about that as well. Interest rates, they're all over the place. Unfortunately, they're all over the place going up right now. There's no guarantees they're going to go back down. That's just what everybody thinks because we haven't been 6% since 2008, 2007, okay? So obviously they're going to come down, right? I don't know. You tell me. I didn't think they were going to get to 6.5%. I thought they were going to hold in the fives. Uh, everybody else, all the big guns, thought it was going to be in the fours, upper fours by the end of the year. And everybody's like, upper fours? That's crazy. Yeah, we're at like 6.5% right now. So all bets are off. Nobody knows what it's going to be in the springtime. So that's the thing. You got a bird in hand right now, okay? The buyers are motivated. The buyers are over the shock of the interest rates. There's less competition, and you're more likely to get under contract. I think those are four very, very solid reasons why now makes more sense than in the springtime. But at the same time, it really only makes sense to do that if it makes sense for you. So if you want to talk about like what makes sense for your situation, you know, you know, for a neighborhood or a town or where you're moving to, things like that, that's what we do. We talk about it with our people. If it makes sense to sell today, I'll tell you. If it makes sense to sell one year from now, we tell you. If it makes sense to rent. We'll we'll shoot you straight, okay? I'd rather tell you the truth, you know, than and then sell you something and make and make it be the wrong thing. And you tell everybody I pushed you into something. We don't do that here, okay? We shoot you straight, tell you the truth, and then you get to make the decision that you want to make. So give me a call four seven zero two three three four four zero nine. This is Steve Malone Realty Group EXP. Take care. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching the video today. If you want more information on what's going on in the real estate market, take a look at some of these videos over here that we've posted. I'm keeping up with buying, selling, things that are going on in the North Georgia market. But if you want to keep up with everything that we post to our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel down there, bottom right. That way you won't miss out on anything.